Hey everyone. In this module, I want to go over how to download data from Qualtrics and then how to work a little bit on cleaning that data in Excel. So once I have my survey, my survey here is on, it was to uh, school administrators in both districts and in education preparation programs, so that's higher ed folks, asking them about PCEL standards. Uh, there was a Likert scale on all these ratings from not important to very important. Uh, the last question, that scale was a little different, but the, the general idea here is I've got some Likert items and I've also got some free response so people could type in their thoughts. Okay, so now the question is, I've gathered all the data I need, I need to download it. So we click on this data and analysis tab in Qualtrics, and then we can export our data. And I'm gonna export it to Excel, though you could do other formats uh, into your Google Drive or CSV, just depending on the platform you're gonna use. And then the field I wanna use, I don't want the choice text, because that's gonna give me lots of words, like not important to very important. I'd rather just have the numbers one being not important, five being very important. So I click on this use numeric values icon and download it. Okay, it takes Qualtrics just a minute depending on how many responded and how big your survey is. And then having done that, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the downloaded file and I will switch my share so you can see that. Okay. So these are the results, the survey results that I have. Now I wanna walk kind of slowly through this. Uh, we have start and end dates that are a little small, but you can see when the survey was uh, conducted, looks like it started in late November of 2018. Um, you have a uh, response type, this kind of metadata that um, Qualtrics is gathering. A lot of this we're gonna delete because we don't need it. Um, but notice there were quite a few people that opened the survey, uh, but didn't reply at all. So my first step in cleaning is uh, I want to go ahead and get rid of those who didn't reply, but it's kind of hard to see right now because the rows are different heights. And the reason why they're different heights is we have some folks, as you can see here on row 14, where people are typing in answers and that text is being wrapped. So one thing you can do at the beginning, and I'm just going to go ahead and select all my responses. So uh, that was pretty yep, down to row 83 here. And I'm going to adjust my height of my rows by clicking format row height. And I'm going to make my uh, row height 25 pixels high. And what this is going to do is it just shrinks and standardizes the row height. And now for me, I can start to see some of this missing data a little bit better. These folks that uh, didn't reply at all. So I want to take care of that. But before I do that, I want to walk through some of these columns and delete any columns we don't think we need. Because again, we want just a clean data set, something that we can really wrap our minds around and includes all the folks that we want, okay? So the start and end date to me are interesting. We can keep those, uh, but everything after that, since it's anonymous, we're gonna go ahead and delete. Now, this progress bar tells you how far they got. Well, we'll be able to see that in the data, so we don't necessarily need to include that. And so I'm gonna actually go all the way through this distribution and language all these columns, they're not anything that I'm gonna need for my analysis. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete them, okay? And now that those are gone, uh, I can look through and see if there's anything else. You can see all my responses. Some folks chose to write, not many did, but I do have a little bit of qualitative data that I could code. And notice this first row is Qualtrics label for that question. And the second row is gonna be a nice one for you uh, to be able to see if we were to uh, look at these uh, a little more detail around what that question was. So I can see within question one, row seven, this was on the importance of um, a school leader to be effective to model and pursue the school's vision. You can see that descriptive. So we'll keep that, that's really nice to have. So for the rest of this module, oops, uh, for the rest of this module, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete a few of these rows here and I just select them, I hit control on my Mac and minus, and that'll delete that, or you can just do edit, delete rows that are selected, and that'll get rid of it. And again, I only wanna get rid of folks that opened the survey but didn't provide any other information. Everything else can tell us a little bit of a story that we might wanna keep. So if somebody started the survey but stopped halfway, that's okay, they're providing some information. Uh, so we'll, we'll keep that for our analysis, okay? 
uh, knowing that they're partial completers. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just clean this up. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but I'm just going to delete any rows now that I don't provide any information. And in my next module, we'll go through a simple analysis procedure that might be helpful when you have your own survey data.